Is your gauge cluster all scratched up like this? Well, stay tuned, because in this video, we're gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. What's up guys? So this is my Lexus GS300, it's a 2001, and it's great and everything, I love it. But one thing that bugs me is this gauge cluster right here is all scratched up. I wanna try to fix that today with some simple polishing compound, a microfiber, and uh, some elbow grease. So let's get started. All right, first thing I wanna do is just get the dust off of here. And this is already clean. I have cleaned it, but um, I just wanna get the uh, remainder of the dust off. And I'm only gonna do it on this one first. And if this works, then I'll do it on the left cluster and then the right one. The right one doesn't have any sun on it right now, so it's hard to see the swirl marks. On this one, you can probably see them a lot better. All right, so what I'm gonna use is just some basic cutting compound. I wanna go with the cutting compound because I'm doing it by hand, so I'm not putting a lot of force on it, and I do wanna cut through this haziness and swirl marks that are on there, so I'm gonna start with this. All right, so just put a little bit on a microfiber pad, and what you wanna do is just work it into the pad a little bit, and once you've done that, just gently work it into the surface and do circular motions. Basically try and buff out the uh, the bad area and just keep working it. After a few minutes, it should uh, clean up. Now let's just see what the uh, result is at this point. So I'm gonna get a microfiber towel and wipe off, buff off the uh, polishing compound that is a lot better I like that so obviously I could do a whole lot better of a job and I could even go as far as removing this gauge cluster but I just wanted to do this with it in the car and this in this particular case it's it's a very deep cluster so I mean it's almost what four inches deep so I guess in most cases you wouldn't have this hard of a time reaching deep down there but in this case uh, it's not as convenient but either way I just wanted to show that it's possible to do it with it in the car with just common basic stuff like just a polishing pad all right now let's do this one right here same technique I'm just gonna work it in and then I'm gonna go in circles circular motions and then I'm just gonna try and work in the uh, cutting compound into the plastic and basically cut that top layer of uh, haziness and swirl marks. All right, so that looks a lot better. What I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna go from this cutting compound over to the polishing compound. And I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna do all three of them and I'll be right back with the final results. Because as you can see, there's still a little bit of swirl marks right there. There are a few scratch marks, which I can't do anything about because those are deep. I don't know how that even happened in the first place, but it almost looks like someone shoved their key or something in there and scratched it all up. But it is what it is. I just want to get rid of the swirl marks and this is working. So let's keep going with the polish and I'll be right back with the final results. All right. So a lot of elbow grease later, and I mean a lot. Um, actually, if you wanted to do this easier, you would want to remove the cluster. So you'd take off whatever panel is holding your cluster in and then just remove the cluster and use a drill or a, a buffer and do that a lot faster. Uh, but in my case, I just wanted to do it quick in the car. Came out great just doing it in the car. I mean, yeah, sure, you could still see some fine swirl marks and you're never gonna get it as good as new. It's just really hard because this is actually very soft plastic. So every time you clean it, you wanna use a microfiber towel in order to prevent these swirl marks in the first place. But if uh, if your car, your car, unless you buy it new, it's most likely gonna have this. Everybody uses paper towels to clean this up. So, and I can't say that I haven't done it myself. So this is just a good way to kind of bring this back to life and remove some of those big swirl marks that just stand out. And just to see what it looks like with it on, we'll put the key in and turn on the ignition. And awesome, you can't really see any swirl marks when it's on. You could see swirl marks before even with it on, especially on the RPM gauge right here. You could see the swirl marks uh, being backlit with the light of the gauges. So you can still see them a little bit here. It's it's kind of fuzzy almost, but I mean, there's it's soft plastic. You're never gonna get it as good as new unless it's actually new. So either way, I'm happy with the results that I got. It was exactly what I was looking for. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.